welcome back to Holo Holo. I'm Kataniba, and we are at Busby's East for Philam Creative's 13th of the month music showcase. And we are going to catch up with some of the top artists in the Filipino American and Asian American community. We are here with Ed Malillan, the co-chair of Philam Creative. And Ed, tell me about Philam Creative. Well, Philam Creative is a union of a lot of different artists, like in entertainment, um, directors, filmmakers, writers, actors, comedians. And it's just a chance for the Filipino, uh, Filipino American entertainment community to get together and uh, meet and network. Now, there is this event called 13th of the Month thing. Tell us about that. Yes, we uh, Philam Creative is the home for the 13th of the Month thing. And we saw the need for for uh, kind of smaller monthly gatherings to keep uh, people interested and learning more about Philam Creative. So what we did was we came up with the idea of the 13th of the month thing. So every 13th of the month, uh, people can come out. And uh, this month is music. So each 13th is different. Uh, next month, we're going to be at the beach with Tile Literary Magazine. Uh, so hello to them. We basically look for different organizations within the community that want to help us co-sponsor an event. And so basically every 13th. So, uh, if you're free on the 13th, come hang out with us. And for more information on Philam Creative or to be a part of it, what do we need to do? Well, you'll go to www.philamcreative.com, and I'm assuming they're going to edit right around here. Yep. You're going to put that graphic up. Now back to catching up with our favorite Asian artists. Good life, get on my hand. I'm about to take my stand. I live large, I take a breath. Keep growing with every step. Wisdom comes with age. Never live afraid. The best yet is to come. Enjoy life and have some fun. So we are here with Alexa Yoshimoto, YouTube fame. Now tell me how you got started singing. I got started singing about my senior year of high school, and I've always been singing my whole life, um, but it wasn't until a few friends like introduced me to what, how their life was being on YouTube, and I really admire them, and so I decided to kind of follow in the footsteps and just put some videos up and had their support, so they got me started too. Uh, I think the first person that got me started with music was Mr. AJ Raphael. Yeah, yeah he definitely uh, started the whole thing. He told me I should put a music uh, video up on, so. And then I started doing um, stuff with Joseph Vincent. And after we did videos together, we started traveling, uh, you know, across the U.S. and everything, and we did some shows. There's so much talent out there, and I really want to work with a bunch of other people. So, you know, anyone that I see at shows, I always like to, you know, get their contacts somehow, collaborate with them, and get new styles and everything. Guys, we are here with the Status Fiction, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves. I'm Warren. Justin. David. Oh, Peter. And first off, how did you guys get the name? The Status Fiction. I'm not going to lie, we were at a bar one night and uh, we just came up with, the, we, we wanted fiction in the name. We had a couple names with fiction in it and we were thinking with more of a social networking out there. We decided to do the status, that's actually status colon fiction. So what the status is, it's fiction. It's pretty much up to interpretation. We're still trying to figure out what it means. So, With all this goofing around, I can tell you guys get along really well. Have you known each other for a long time? How did the group get together? Um, I've known this guy since I was born. Uh, yeah, we're cousins. Uh, so, yeah, we started off when we were uh, younger in a family band and uh, with uh, his dad, my uncle, uh, my brother, his sister. Uh, just recently, we, you know, picked up the instruments again. Um, we kind of rekindled those uh, childhood memories and we wanted to, you know, create music. And uh, Peter, how did you become a part of the group? Um, I think it was Justin's birthday or something at his house and they had instruments set out and I think I just joined them and then I think we all kind of thought hey this sounds good <laughs> so we just decided to try something and now we're here and David you're the newest member yeah. how did that come about I'm actually friends with this guy um, we went to high school together but we weren't actually friends we just always had like a mutual respect for each other he was like he was an artist I was an artist we were doing our own thing and then he was just like, hey, we really need a bassist. You know, I played bass, so that's how I came in. Well, for more of your group and information, where can we go? Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash thestatusfiction, or we're also on Twitter under Status Fiction, and we're still working on other stuff, but that's where you can find us. Hi, we're the Status Fiction, and you're watching Holo Holo! We 
are here with Top 10 American Idol alum, Camille Velasco. I am so excited to finally meet you. Welcome. Cool, thank you. Nice to meet you. Now, tell us what you've been up to. I hear you have a project coming. Um, yeah, right now, you know, I'm working on the album. I'm, uh, you know, my second record deal, uh, Up Above Records. And, uh, we know we're about to release a single next month. So, um, yeah, you know, we're trying to do a Philippines launch and uh, launch in Hawaii. It's going to be my first album, you know, since American Idol, I haven't had an album yet, just a couple of singles. You know, I had a single out with, uh, um, um, Stephen Marley. And, uh, so, you know, we're, we're just trying to get a full length together, you know, with some songs that I've written and, uh, you know, with, uh, but a couple of other writers as well. And, uh, you know, like I said, it'll be my debut album. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about it. A little that. bit of R and B reggae. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it'll be, have a little reggae, mostly um, R and B. Um, you know, a, a little hip hop tinge, but um, pop R and B. You know. Yeah, um, I got to work with, uh, with Apple from the Apple, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, yeah and uh, um, you know, Praz from the Fugees, and I got to work with uh, CeeLo and um, Stephen Marley. Yeah, what was it like working with Apple? Apple, uh, he's awesome. He's great. You know, he's he, I mean, he's Filipino. You know, so yeah. it's, we kind of just like. Got a lot. He's like my kuya, you know. So we just, yeah, we just got to cracking jokes right away, and just, you know. So yeah, we got along really well in the studio. I do want to go to the Philippines. I'm hoping I can get there realistically um, next summer. So you know, I want, I want to get the single out, and then um, you know, get out there, you know, as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. So Thank you. <laughs> hey, what up, is It's your girl Camille Velasco here, and you're watching Hollow Hollow. Well, that's it for me. I want to thank Camille, Alexa, and all the other wonderful artists that we talked to today. Make sure to check them all out because they've got some wonderful projects coming up. For more of Hollow Hollow, check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash TV, and send me your emails, hollowhollow at la18.tv. We'll see you later.